It's been fantastic this week to see the Matildas' success and also the profile for women's sport being increased. How do we encourage the nation to be as proud and excited about our STEM successes as they are with our sporting success? Megan? Yeah, it, it's a tough question because it's very easy to understand winning a sport, right? And, and people get, to get behind a team when they're winning, but it's a little bit harder to understand when a scientist is winning. Um, but there is a lot of great stuff happening and I think fundamentally it's the same deal. There's so much grassroots stuff that's gone on behind it. The same with the Matildas. I mean, there was, there was so much work that went on before they became this success recently and it's, it's the same thing. So, you know, you've got, to, you've got to get involved in museums, get involved in, in science programs, the same way that you should get involved in your local sports team. Do we need a science World Cup is the big question. Uh, Dr Cathy <laughs> Foley, I mean, it's an interesting comparison. Yeah, it is, and it's really great to see that we're um, celebrating Science Week, which is fantastic and a great opportunity for us to focus on what science means. So sometimes we just have to have celebrations, uh, being able to highlight the great stuff that we're doing, not just here but uh, globally. And also, I guess, in the case of women, uh, because the Miltulas are a, a, a women's soccer team, is being able to make sure that we turn that into something which people can recognise, can see it as part of who they are, and hopefully encourage a whole lot of young women to think, I can be that. And getting out there, things like Science Week, having uh, you have us here tonight is fantastic, so thank you for that. I mean, but it's a way of exposing, I guess, a broader audience to saying, this is something which we need to celebrate, this is something that affects every one of us, and something which maybe an individual young girl, young boy might say, I can be a scientist too. Mm. Adam, it seems that the Matildas have created a kind of magic. They put a little bit of magic sparkle dust over us all. Mm. Uh, how, how can science do that? Well, that sounds frightening, actually. I don't want <laughs> science sparkle dust on me, but you know what I'm saying. Well, just quickly on the Matildas, first of all, mm. if, you, if you are one of the four million people who hopped on the Matildas bandwagon during the week, that's great. There's a lot of room on the bandwagon. But as someone who used to publicly advocate for that team back when people would ask, what's a Matilda, can I just say to everyone who's, who's hopped on board, in the next year, just go to a couple of W League games as well. Or, or just, if, if your young girl's a bit sporty, get her to kick a footy around and see how it goes. I just hope it's not this... These same girls in the lead-up to the 2023 World Cup, uh, 2019 World Cup, were playing in front of crowds of 2,000 people in warm-up games in Australia. What we've seen in the last week, month, has been fantastic. It was Dylan Alcott, the uh, former Australian of the Year, a disability advocate, said, it's the closest I've ever come to standing up. <laughs> That's funny, but let's not let this moment just be lost. And then it is, yeah, it's a matter of telling the stories, the things that Australians have done. In my field of mathematics, we've got not one, but two Australians who've won the Fields Medal, which is the Nobel Prize of mathematics for career achievement under the age of 40. There's a mathematician at your university, Geordie Williamson, who's in regularly in discussions of the best mathematicians in the world. The things that we do in that space are absolutely magic. We just need to be better at telling the story to the next generation of young, nerdy maths geeks who want to come along and be the next Geordie Williams and be the next Terry Tao. So, next time one of those maths geeks, Mark Scott, has one of those victories, do we need to have a public holiday for them, for instance? <laughs> Is that the sort of time that a public holiday should be called? Well, I, I think we've really got to celebrate and I think we've got to tell the full story. You know, when I was working here at the ABC, I was told... Uh, women's sport would never rate on television. Now it's the biggest team sport ever shine on Australian Did you believe television. them when they told you that? Uh, well, probably. I mean, there was just not a lot of media coverage and it was a self-fulfilling activity, wasn't it? But now clearly proven wrong. And I think it's the same about coverage of science. Mm -hmm. I think what's great about um, the Matildas is that we, we see and hear the backstory, we see the humanity, they seem to be very real people, it feeds our curiosity about them and the excitement grows and it grows across all genders, all age groups, all parts of society, it's very, very inclusive. So I think telling the full and complete story, including the story of how our great mathematicians and scientists got there, all the years of work before the moment of breakthrough and the moment of triumph, we've got to do a better job of telling that complete story because I think it's an enchanting story and an engaging story and one that clearly can find a big audience. Mm. There is something kind of electric going on, isn't yeah. there? Mm. Everyone's... <laughs> 
completely lost their minds. Yeah. Have you lost your mind? Yeah, I have that, that was the tensest moment of my life and I've, <laughs> I've been through astronaut selections. Yeah. So. <laughs> Honestly, like... It was amazing just watching the, the penalty shootout. <laughs> is it going to end? <laughs> what is more stressful, going through astronaut selection, do you think, or being sort of, you know, the defence of Australia in front of that... <laughs> Those oh gosh! Well, I've never done that, so I, I, I wouldn't know. But that would have been extremely stressful. <laughs> yeah, it looked pretty stressful. Just to clarify, before we move on to our next question, mm. are we all pro public holiday if they win? Yeah. Mark? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who doesn't love Australian public not holiday? Pro public holiday if they win. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care what the rest of the public are doing. I'm taking a week <laughs> off when they win. <laughs> so, uh, you won't see me for seven days.